Naturally Rhonda here, welcome back to my channel. So for this week, I will be doing a twist out video. For today's style, I will be using what I feel like is honestly a, just an OG classic hair product for black girls. Luster's Pink Lotion. Now Luster's Pink is celebrating their 50 years of pink. So this is the special retro packaging. I got this in my March curl box, so I'm very excited to use this. I used to use it a lot in my relaxer days. So hopefully I still enjoy it. I'm pretty sure I will, but let's just hope. So my hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled. I know typically when I come on camera, my hair is already sectioned off, but it's like this for another video. So this is my hair with no product in it at all i rinse out the deep conditioner and this is what happened my hair started to dry some but the roots are definitely still very wet but yeah this is what it looks like no product at all big so i really don't know how big or small i want these twists to be yet um i actually planned on doing a wash and go today with completely different products but at the last minute I decided to change it up and do this so here we are but I think maybe this size section I don't know per usual I used my spray bottle to wet my hair down y'all know I like to go in on wet hair just taking my Felicia Leatherwood brush to brush the product through to evenly distribute starting tight at the root so how have y'all been holding up with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and depending on where you live you might be in more of a quarantine situation or a shelter in place or here in new york where i live our governor he doesn't like the term shelter in place governor cuomo so he um He's calling it like a pause and that stands for something. I can't remember exactly what that acronym means, but basically if you don't have to go out, just kind of stay in the house. If you can work from home, then please work from home. All the kids are out of school. But I mean, like we're not mandated to stay home. So if you do have to go to the store, like there are still grocery stores open and the liquor store. I know like Home Depot is open. There are restaurants that are still open, but they're only doing carry out or delivery. Like, you know, of course the movie theaters and everything are closed. Yeah, so this is my first twist. I think this is what I'm going with. And I'm just kind of parting it with my finger. You can use a comb, like a rat tail comb or something or whatever. I, I don't do that. I'm lazy. I am definitely a lazy curly girl. Spraying it down again with my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I know some people are really having a hard time with this social distancing and, you know, being quarantined, staying in the house, all that. I know some of my friends who are more used to being out and about all the time are definitely having an issue with this. Me, honestly, not so much. I'm used to being a homebody anyways. I like to say that I'm an introverted extrovert. So I like to pop out here and there and you know, every now and then I like to go out, step out, you know, get all dressed up and everything and go out. But for the most part, I just wanna stay in the house. Y'all, these are really some free form twists. I'm just grabbing sections that I feel like, all right, I'll rock with this. And we'll see how this comes out. Hopefully it doesn't look janky. I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to all of the people out there who 
can't just stay home. The essential workers who still have to go out and deal with all of this going on. That's the doctors, the nurses, the orderlies who work in the hospitals. I remember when I was in the hospital after my surgery, there was the doctors and the nurses, of course, but then there were also the people who came in who would like check my vitals and everything. And there were other people who would come in and, you know, they just make sure to you have the food that you need. All those people who work in these hospitals, shout out to them. Also shout out to the grocery store workers, the sanitation workers, postal workers, delivery drivers. Shout out to the people also who work with some of our most vulnerable population, the people who work in these nursing homes with our elderly, the people who work with our special needs population. Shout out to them too. Shout out to the people who work at these fast food restaurants. All of these people, all these essential workers. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to anyone working in IT, anyone working for any of these utility companies. Like if you work for the water company or out here, we call it O&R, um, but the gas and electric, even though there's a global pandemic going on, they still have to leave their families to make sure that we're good, to make sure that when we flip that switch, the light's still gonna come on. Anyone that I forgot, any profession I forgot, you know, charge it to my head and not my heart. All the therapists out there doing teletherapy, Okay, I almost forgot the teachers and I have so many teacher friends. Y'all know I love y'all. Like I said, charge it to my head and not my heart. The teachers, so many parents and guardians, grandmas, aunties, all of that, all across the country who are just like, I don't know how these teachers do it. I don't know how they, I'm struggling doing it with just one kid and they do it with 20, 30 kids in a classroom. Shout out to the teachers they definitely need to be paid more. All of these people coming together, trying to figure it out and work it out. Shout out to the people who realize that as a community, we can get through this if we come together, if we help each other out, if we look out for each other. And with all that being said, my prayers and my heart really goes out to those people out there who lost their job because of the coronavirus and because the industry that they were working in is something like the hospitality industry. Whether they were someone who was a server or a bartender or they worked at a hotel or for a cruise line or a resort somewhere or you work in some other service like a spa or a nail salon or a hair salon somewhere that had to either shorten their hours or completely close because of the coronavirus or maybe you own your own business and it's a struggle when customers aren't coming out because people don't have the money to just spend as freely i also feel for the parents who are working from home and that is a blessing that you're still gainfully employed and you get to work from home but now you have to teach homeschool simultaneously as working from home yourself and that, that I'm sure is a struggle. So my heart just goes out to everybody. I know I'm already practicing social distancing. I'm washing my hands. Like it feels like a million times a day now. One, I'm already immunocompromised. Thank you, crumbs. I have a pre-existing condition and it would make it so much harder for me to fight off any virus, let alone a virus that there's no vaccine for. But then, you know, even if I didn't have Crohn's, I would still be extra cautious because of the people in my life who I love and I care about, who I wouldn't want to infect. Just in the off chance that I could be carrying it but not showing any symptoms or whatever. But I love seeing all the memes on social media that are like, Okay, stop saying that it's the millennials who are being reckless on beaches and, you know, still going out not practicing social distancing. That's not the millennials. Millennials are in our late 20s to 30s right now. We ain't on no beaches. We're not on spring break. 
all right y'all so i finished my twist but then i was just so tired by the time i finished it that i didn't want to get back on camera so i finished them not last night but the night before that so this is just day two yes day two <laughs> And um, this is what my twists are looking like. Okay, so I'm back for the takedown. Um, it's been about four days now, and let's just get into it. I always like to take down my hair and fluff out my hair with an oil on my hands. And the oil that I will be using today is the Garnier Whole Blends Smoothing Oil with coconut oil and cocoa butter. Smooth oil down the whole twist and then I pull it to find a seam and then just separate them. I like to be very intentional about the way that I separate my hair. And there you have it. So please, Please make sure that y'all are taking care of yourselves. Y'all are being safe. And I'm wondering, everyone who is not classified as an essential worker, how are y'all quarantined? How are y'all quarantining? 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 How are y'all handling the quarantine? <laughs> it's not really a quarantine because technically if we were quarantined, we wouldn't be able to leave the house like at all, not even to go to the grocery store. But anyways, what have y'all been doing to pass the time? I've decided to use this time to deep clean my whole house. So I'm in the process of doing that. I highly recommend that. Reorganize, declutter, at least that's what I've been doing. I finally got to finish the um McMillions docuseries, documentary, whatever. Why do I still have my glasses there's just way too much glare insecure is coming back in april and i am so excited for that we had to wait a whole year because isa want to be in all these movies or whatever no i'm kidding i love her it's fine So these are the results of my impromptu twist out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I love you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.